Hey everybody, this is Christian of Spotlight TV. Well, Christian Lestap, you sir. You know, if you want to see Spotlight TV, just look up it on YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash eerieparties or spotlighttv.blogspot.com. Spotlight TV is basically an independent way of media that's online. You know, YouTube, live video, or like MySpace TV. Uh, I've started out like about three years ago. Uh, I'm trying to get whatever's going on and happening locally, like on, on a mainstream, worldwide basis. Like, say at the, the you go to Jazz Fest, I go to the Jazz Fest, I record there, I put it on YouTube, and I make sure someone in Russia sees that we have a thing in Erie, PA called the Jazz Fest. I uh, put a lot of rappers lately. I've been working with like all the hip hop talent in town, and there's a lot of it. Uh, uh, the sad thing is, there's not a lot of uh, places where the hip hop artists could. Uh, find uh, places the stage to perform on. So a lot of them, uh, you can only see them on Spotlight TV, you can listen to them on MySpace. I've done a lot of work with the bands with Spotlight TV. Uh, I get into political things. Uh, recently there's been an officer who uh, was making fun of an African American fellow who uh, got shot in the face and, and killed. And he was making fun of the, 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 the guy's mother who was crying over him. And, and he said, did this in a bar, and he was taped and put on YouTube. And because of that situation, I'm tr really trying to get the people, you know, to realize what's going on and try to get them to write letters and do whatever it takes to get that officer off duty. And not, he, he has no right being a cop and protecting us if he's going to make fun of dead people. Well, that's, that's one uh, avenue that, you know, Spotlight TV covers. Spotlight TV covers a lot of avenues, different things. Uh, I've done plenty of different things I probably wouldn't, you never thought I would be involved with. Met people I wouldn't think I, I, I would ever have been involved with because of Spotlight TV. I would also say, like, I've always had an open mind, but, like, dealing with so many different people, uh, different races, different colors, different sexual preferences, because Spotlight TV has even gave me even more of an open mind. Uh, it's, it's, I think everyone should probably get involved with some sort of taping. Uh, I'm also trying to do a cop watch program in Erie where uh, it's, it's worked in a lot of other towns, cop watch programs, and I really think that Erie needs one. You know, I'd say that our Erie cops is, you know, breaking the laws every single night, but there are some cases where, like, the Erie cops get a little too angry and, and they, they get a little too mean or aggressive with people, and, and that's, you know, that's what needs to be recorded. And also, say if uh, there's a problem with, like, a cop needs to have evidence that he or she didn't do anything bad, it's good to have a cop watcher out there with the proof that, you know, sticking up for he or she. And the fact is, if the, the cops aren't doing anything wrong, they should have no problem with video being videoed. I mean, I don't have no problem with being videoed at any time, you know, if I'm in a bar or anything. I mean, I don't go ahead and uh, say things I shouldn't say or... And, and if I did, if I did say something like that, I would definitely apologize on my own behalf. Uh, why, why I'm upset Officer Cousins is the fact that like uh, he, he had someone else write a, a newspaper article. And he, he, he had someone else, not newspaper article, he had someone write a letter and all he did was sign it. He didn't go on CNN News, he didn't apologize to the NWACP, he didn't, he didn't apologize to anyone by himself and I think that's what, what needs to be done. I mean, if he is to be on the police force, he's really got to prove himself as a police officer and someone who's extremely sorry. I mean, I understand, like, there's a lot of things that, 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 that could traumatize a police officer during the day. But in this case, watching it over and over again, I could tell he wasn't traumatized because he was making jokes about the victim and he took a cell phone picture. I mean, if I was traumatized, I wouldn't rip out my camcorder and be like, hey, I want to record this or I want to take a picture of this and make fun of, fun of this to, with my friends later on in the bar. So I really think that I, he really needs to apologize. And the joke he made about take one to the head, that seems like something he, he thought of way before he went to the bar. That wasn't just some random drunk moment. I, I know a lot of people who have random drunk moments, and I don't really think that was a random drunk moment. That's like someone who uh, practiced that. Like That was like the, a stand-up routine at Junior's. For everyone who's not in the area, if, you, if you're watching this, uh, Junior's is a great place to see stand-up comedy, and Officer Cousins is not one of them who's performing there. But uh, I think definitely that people in situations like Officer Cousins or any type of situation needs to write to people outside of Erie. Uh, right now we're dealing with a weird situation. We have CNN News trying to contact our, our mayor. We have like NWACP telling our mayor in our city to get rid of this cop. And yet nothing's 
going on, except for he was suspended without pay for a couple weeks, you know, slap on the wrist. So uh, we really need a right to out-of-town people, like people who are controlling, people who are in the power of the state, even the White House, because the fact is, if you write to people within the city, it's like writing to Ted and tell, hey, Ted, do you know Ted's screwing up over here? You know what Ted did? And Ted's not really going to do anything <laughs> about Ted. So that's what's going on in the city. There's like, too many, too many close nets with, with like, the politicalness and uh, the, the police, uh, even even our courts, like, you have the, these these judges. They're so they're, they're good friends with the the, the 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 attorneys. So when you have a public defender, they're not going to try to go against like say Judge Steffi Dimitrich. You know, like he wants to be the cool person in the clubhouse with her after the the, the after they, the, they they end the day at the courtroom. You know, so and there's a lot that needs to be looked into, and maybe we should really think about how we should vote in our cops too. But back to Spotlight TV, you know. Uh, if you want to see this and learn any about Spotlight TV and any of the situations or avenues Spotlight TV is going, you know, because we go all different kinds of directions and and uh, there's not one opinion with Spotlight TV. Like someone could come on Spotlight TV and stick up for Officer Cousins. It's it's not about just enjoying one opinion on Spotlight TV. It's enjoying the idea of freedom of speech. And basically that's what Spotlight TV is. It's a freedom of speech. It's a freedom of expression. And it's just a freedom of, of, of real media. Uh, no FCC regulations. Uh, it's definitely a, a freedom of people to get their expressions out. And I think that's what needs to be done, especially with today's technology and all the stuff that's going on in the world. People really need to get their voices out in, in, in a mass quantity, you know. And I really hope Erie's going to be soon going to Avenue. Uh, I, I, a lot of people ask me, like, what are you going to do, Christian, when a lot more people in the area start working on YouTube? And I'm like, well, I'm going to love it. That's why I want. I don't want to be the only person with a camcorder. I don't want to be the only person who's helping Maddie B get on to uh, the mainstream level. Uh, to, I, want, I want everyone having a camera. I want to see Doc Sire have Doc Sire TV or Sherlock's have Sherlock's TV. You know, you want to bar with local music, make sure you have some with a camcorder, you know. I mean, it's free to open up a YouTube account. You know, uh, you go to uh, Walmart and buy one of these things. You know, I mean, it, video technology is so easy to get a hold of now, and so easy to do. You could get a program, a green screen program, for like hundred fifty dollars. I did that. It, it's the, just uh, this new way of media is so easy. Everyone should do it, and especially if you have something important to say, if you have a goal and. and if it's if the goal is uh you know gain someone out there who has talent a performer rapper or if it's you know to pass a political message or if it's just do a comedy skit just do it I mean it's out there it's free please do it you know Erie PA we need to get you on video <laughs> but anyway that's about all I have to say besides uh, watch Spotlight TV YouTube.com slash Erie Parties. Uh, you can see livevideo.com slash Spotlight TV, SpotlightTV.blogspot.com, or just like Google Spotlight TV in EPA, you'll find all this stuff. But hey, thank you for having me on the show. I can't wait to see it. Peace, everybody.